Some fresh warning signs today for Joe Biden in a brand new poll out from CNN and the University of New Hampshire. The former vice president locked in a statistical dead heat with two of his top rivals. Take a look here. 24 percent of likely Democratic primary voters in New Hampshire say Biden is their top choice for the nomination. But 19 percent pick Senator Bernie Sanders, 19 percent for Senator Elizabeth Warren. The margin of error in this poll, 5 percent, which means essentially you could call that a statistical tie. Or if Biden's ahead, the competition is certainly closing in. The former vice president telling MSNBC today he thinks it'll all turn out fine, but he's also conceding voters might have some doubts, even more doubts, especially after his first debate performance. I don't want to attack anyone on the stage. Uh, it's not what I intend to do, but I realize that some have concluded that because I didn't respond very tough mm -hmm. back to her, that how can I take on Trump? Um, I've never had any trouble taking anyone from Trump to Putin to Xi Jinping or anybody else. I'm saying that in an interview uh, is very different than proving it on a debate Correct. stage. Uh, and if that's your calling card, I'm the grown up with gravitas who can stand there next to Donald Trump next September and October. Um, he better prove it in two weeks, right? Yeah, and he's got to start now. I mean, I think that these are all um, test cases for what's going to happen further down the road. He has to show he can handle his own party first before going forward. But it, he wouldn't be the first um, a primary candidate to really struggle early on in these debates. Sometimes uh, they have to in order to understand where they need to improve. So if Biden's able to make those improvements, uh, fine. But also, you know, he's proven himself to be a pretty stubborn candidate. He has been in this business for a long time. Mm -hmm. He feels like he knows what he wants to do and he wants to do it his way. Uh, but there are going to there is going to be a need to grow in this field because this is a field of Democrats who are representing different generations and different uh, types of ideologies. And he has to learn how to be nimble enough to deal it's, with that. It's a, it, they were a long time ago, but Joe Biden presidential candidate has never made it into the even numbered year. His campaign has always sparted in this which year. Which is not the, optimal. The, the, right. the, lead, the lead up here, yeah, which is not optimal. The question is, you mentioned the word grow. Does he grow? Does he learn? I want to go deeper into this New Hampshire poll. If you look at this number, this is Biden's calling card. Who's the candidate with the best chance to win the general election? In New Hampshire, 45 percent say Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders next is 16 percent. That is a giant advantage that he needs to hold if Democrats think this is a race about that. However, I want to come over here to look at something else. Who's the best candidate to handle these issues? On the economy, Biden has a narrow lead, 24 percent to 20 percent for Elizabeth Warren, 17 percent percent. But health care is the animating issue mm -hmm. for many Democrats. He's third. Senator Sanders wins. This is New Hampshire. Senator Sanders ran before. He's a familiar yeah. face. He's from Vermont. Warren's from Massachusetts. So you have to filter all that in here. But if you're the former vice president, you can't lose a lot at the beginning. Other, you know, we may have a long Democratic race. It may be one candidate wins Iowa, somebody wins New Hampshire, maybe somebody else wins South Carolina, and we have a long protracted race. That's not normally the way it works. But if you're the former vice president who came in as the giant front runner, you got to win early, right? I mean, part of it is I think a, a lot of what these early polls show is, is name recognition, right? And we've talked a lot about that. But I think the other thing to me that's really interesting is um, I spent the weekend, I was at Netroots Nation, which is this you know huge gathering of progressive activists. So take that for what it is. It's that wing of the party. but. What was interesting to me is you talk to folks and they're really content with their field of, of Democratic candidates. They say, you know, I could go with Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, but the one person yeah. that they are in agreement that they do not want, that they actually think is the least electable candidate, is Joe Biden. I want to listen yeah. to a piece of that. We, we stole this from your piece on NPR. This is Yvette Simpson from Democracy for America. And again, you're right. This is one wing of the party. It's an activist wing of the party. It's a very energetic wing of the primary. Joe Biden is betting. There are more moderates and centrists out there when people actually start voting out in the country. But the energy from these activists to say not Joe Biden is palpable. I do believe that there are people who can afford for the world not to change. And I think if you can afford for the world not to change, you take the slow approach. And so if, you, if you're a privileged few that can wait for Medicare for all, then maybe you can be a moderate. But we don't have time for that. Yeah. It's an intro, and, and Biden is their is their poster child for that's the you know the you go the go slow, cautious, pragmatic approach. They don't want it. The contempt for Biden on the left is. Mm -hmm extraordinary you see it on Twitter but you also see it. I, I was in New Hampshire last weekend you, you talk to people they, they they don't even mention him uh, in some circles you know when you ask who they're who they're consider he's not even an option for what I would call the kind of high information more progressive wing of the party that is really following this race in July of 2019 Biden's bet is that there are a lot more casual Democratic um, 
voters who will show up in the primaries but are not super engaged right now, um, some of which are not college educated, who will support him. And looking at the polling there, you know, this would be an even worse story for Biden or this field not so divided. Right. I mean, th th he's at 23 or whatever, you know, in New Hampshire as the former two-term vice president. That's right. not that high. Right. But he benefits from the fact that it's so fractured right now. And that could ultimately be the best thing he has going for him. He's never going to get 50.1% of the vote in the early going, right? But he could actually survive based on this fractured field. Right. And then the one other takeaway from that is it's another good poll for Elizabeth Warren. It's sort of the slow and steady approach, but she has worked her way into play.